Hello everybody, it's Four Wheel Kid here and I'm outside working on the 96 Ford E350 Club Wagon that I'm doing a camper conversion on. In the last video, I pretty much completely emptied the gas tank. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and drop the tank out. First thing we wanna do is take a look under here and I got some PB Blaster. Get this uh, tank strap bolt. In this one, right above the leaf spring connection, when you remove those, the tank's pretty much gonna fall down. However, there's gonna be a lot of uh, different hoses and fuel lines connected that we need to remove first or as we lower it down. We did disconnect the fuel line coming out of the fuel filter to remove all the gasoline in the fuel tank, but I'm gonna go ahead and just throw this back on just to keep any dirt and stuff from getting inside there. And these Ford quick disconnects are actually pretty cool. So you may think this connector is for the fuel pump because there's four wires and it goes up that way, but it actually crosses over the tank and goes to the secondary O2 sensor. The fuel pump wire is actually further back and I already have it disconnected, but it's black. And there's another Christmas tree clip on this one that goes up on this side and it attaches to the top of the frame kind of like the white one but you're gonna want to disconnect that as well so that's the fill port that goes to the outside and it goes down here to those hoses you can see those all the way over there to the top of the tape the big one is the main fill and the other one is just a vent but I'm pretty sure we can just remove this side and then we just bend them out of the way as we're dropping the tank. And you can just move these. There shouldn't be any gas that comes out unless your tank is super full. To be able to remove the fuel hoses, um, I think we can just drop the tank down some and that should give us enough room up there. Before we support the tank, let's go ahead and make sure we can crack these nuts loose. 5 8 was a bit too big on here and 9 16 didn't fit and I found 15 millimeter is the closest I can get even though it's a little bit loose. Oh it's not even that tight. Oh, it's probably gonna take a while to get these all the way off of here. All right the back one is definitely gonna be a bit harder to get to. There we go. Barely got it. All right, it's loose. Now that they are loose, don't hesitate to put a little more PB blaster on there. Since this is such a long tank, it starts right there. All the way back here, almost to the rear diff. I got the motorcycle lift, and then I have a little transmission jack. And I got a little washcloth on top of that, just to keep things from getting scratched up as much as possible. And you might be able to do this with just the motorcycle jack. Maybe if you put some two by fours, make sure it's like directly in the middle. It'll also really help if you have all the gasoline out of it. Okay. A little bit of contact pushing up on it. And also you want to make sure they're not in the way of either of the straps. Move this one all the way up as well. Next will just be the long process of removing these nuts. I have a ratcheting set of closed end wrenches, but of course they're at work. At some point you are able Put a socket on there. Five hours later. I'll just thread this knot on here a little bit just so I don't lose it. To remove this side, you just turn it sideways, it comes right out. Now for the other side, this one might take a little bit longer. Almost there. For reference, they're the exact same size, so it doesn't matter which one 
goes where. Let's go ahead and start to lower it a little bit. Oh, there we go. So we'll lower that side a little bit, then lower this side. As far as the fuel lines go, oh my goodness. Yeah, see, they kind of come down here under the frame, so it's got a lot of room. Starting to get hung up on those guys a little bit. Bend those around. Come on down, Mr. Fuel Tank. What? This is a little block off cap for one of the hoses. Yeah, it goes right there. Okay, it's got cut on the frame. And as you can see, this is the other hose. And it's got a lot of, a lot of room to move down as well. Another one. Yeah, there's another one right here. Looks like we have some room though. All right, we're as far down as we can go, it looks like. And now, I just gotta see if we can remove this. And notice it's splitting a little bit at the bottom, so I'm just gonna cut it off. Right there. And I'm just gonna replace these hoses. Might as well, since you got the tank out. Here's the electrical connector. As a reference, the blue one goes toward the rear. I think that's the pressure one in the return. It's in the front. Pull this clips off. Okay, that's one way to do it. There we go. Go ahead and just clean them up a little bit. And boot towel, just to keep any dirt from getting in. Got that same fuel line removal tool. Alright. Alright, there we go. It was just cheap. Instead of like accidentally breaking something. This tank is ready to come on out. Let's lift that up. motorcycle jack out. Slowly let that down. Make sure all the lines are not getting hung up. Slide the transmission deck jack out. The fill hoses are getting cut a little bit. And we got it on cardboard. And check that out. Right you don't even have to jack it up or anything. Guys, I was honestly expecting to need some help to get this out of here, but it was actually really easy to do by myself. Oh, we got everything cleaned up. I'm just kind of storing the jacks under the van for now. And I got little baggies with rubber bands holding them on for all of the hoses right there and over there. And that's just to keep any moisture or dirt from getting in any of the fuel lines or evap lines. I'm gonna be uh, spending some time and I'm gonna clean up the inside of this frame rail and do some rust encapsulator. For now, I just got my dad to help me put the tank on creeper. And that way we can just kinda move it around as I'm working on it. Also, this little cover just snaps on. But we're gonna clean everything up on the outside and on the inside. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make this a multi-part video. So this will be the end of this one where I just drop the tank out and then I'll have separate ones for the things I do. That just helps me with the editing and organization of the videos. But anyways, I hope you have found this video useful and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.